A lot of bathroom emails coming in. Okay. Cool. I related to that. I mean, <laughs> we made our own bed, right? I am. Now we have to lie on it. I don't know. I wasn't here last week. I don't know what, what you guys did. My bidet is awesome. We, we made our own oh. toilet. Now we have to sit on it. Mm. How is, really, is it? It's yeah. fantastic. Okay. Uh, although, I'll say the one thing I noticed, keep in mind this is a $20 bidet. Um, I installed it fine. There's no leaks or anything. Uh, but the only other bidets I've used were in Japan, and I realized that most of those were heated. Mm. So that's okay. a bit different. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, pressure and everything, good stuff. Yeah. Really does its job well. Just takes some getting used to. Yeah, but it's it's <laughs> uh it's a cold shot right when it comes in. When you what, when you say you installed this, is yes. it a freestanding thing that's next to your toilet? Did you install it? Is it is like a it was attachment. Plumbing? Okay. So there was okay, a so it's a toilet seat with a hose in it. Kind of. Okay. okay there was there was a Groupon for a thirty dollar bidet that's normally a hundred dollars, and then I found a Kinja deals code for an extra ten dollars. So oh, wow. a twenty dollar bidet I could not pass up. It's a cheap bidet. Yes, it is. Uh, so I had to take the uh, seat off mm -hmm. completely, and then there's this little slider thing like on the side. There's like a little panel with it's just a knob for yeah. pressure or whatever. And then you put that there. You put the toilet seat on top of that. And then you screw back through there, and you got to put these things on the bottom and screw back in. And then there's a whole valve thing that you have to like turn your water off. Mm -hmm. You have to unscrew that, put it into this three way valve thing, you know, attach all that like stuff. Like the same valve the toilet water comes in from? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that'd be cold. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. But not a deal breaker? Yeah. Still using it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just got to know. I'm excited to use it. Just know what Whenever I have for. to poop at home now, I used to dread it. Mm. I used to always try to poop in Walmarts or Targets or whatever. <laughs> now I poop in my own house. It's great. It's, it's good. What? It's good. The water cleans my butt right up. I don't. I don't even want to know. I don't even want. What's to know. that, Drew? Nothing. Don't even ask. Let's just move on. Nothing. This is our fault. Uh, Adam from Michigan, as a follow up to the email on the May seventeenth show about the brushing of teeth in a shared work bathroom. How about when someone is talking on the phone while others are using the bathroom? Yeah, that's no I, good. No good. I, this is the one case where I wish yeah. I could summon loud, disgusting diarrhea at will. What I is wrong saw with someone people? FaceTiming at a urinal <laughs> a couple weeks ago <laughs> no. in this building? No wow. what floor. This one, wow. the bathroom that we use on a regular basis. Wow. I went in there to use it. And someone was FaceTiming at a urinal. Like holding it up at face Yeah, level no, they like, weren't doing anything too crazy. I mean, yeah, <laughs> right, I wasn't right. like, hey, check this out. I'm peeing a lot. Look. <laughs> huh. I, I probably told this before, but in, in this bathroom, I remember once I was pooping, and I went to screenshot a, uh, I don't know, a tweet or something to send to someone, and my vibrate was off, and so it just nice. made the, the it, camera noise. It made the camera yeah, noise, good. and somebody uh, was at the urinal. I was like, great, they think I'm either taking a picture of my penis or my poop, so cool. <sighs> but at least then you're in a stall, and you can wait it out for them to leave, and then maybe they won't know it was you. you Got to hide your shoes. Yeah. Got to put your shoes up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know your shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Chris from Downers Grove, Illinois. I know your shoes too, and I'm glad to have that explanation. Yeah. 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 Chris has another bathroom now question. Regarding dropping things in the toilet, have you ever dropped something in the toilet that you had to fish out? Have you ever fished out an item in the <gasps> toilet that had waste in it? Oh. You, you dropped a very important item, wedding ring, keys, guitar pick used by Prince, etc., in the toilet, and that had waste in it. How do you recover this mm. item? You just get it. Yeah. You and just, then you wash your fucking hands. Yeah. Like, yeah. be an adult about this. Yeah. If it's something that you want back, get it. Yeah. And wash you, your fucking hands. You could get gloves, but, yeah. like, it makes it hard keep, to... Keep some latex yeah. gloves around. You could put one of those on. Like, there are people out there that work in the septic industry that right. deal with shit all day long. <laughs> there are people that are parents of young children who deal with it all day long. Mm -hmm. You know what? They're still standing. Mm. Just reaching the fucking toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Stop a guy. Being a, Dan has thoughts. Uh, well, no, I don't think I have personally dropped anything in the toilet like that, but a guy got kicked out of my dorm freshman year at college because uh, he was high i think went into the bathroom and there was the biggest turd i think any of us had ever seen to to date uh it was like chipotle burrito sized and uh he grabbed it with his bare hand put it in as an, you do yeah put it in an empty pringles can uh i love uh, this is great <laughs> i love where this is going this is great did not like most of the people on the sixth floor we lived on the eighth floor so he took the poop pringles can uh, went down, put it in the middle of the lobby, uh, which I don't remember what happened with the poop can. I don't know if someone opened it up. I mean, it would have been very, very heavy, but then got naked. 
I think he was okay, really this is high. The party. Okay. Yeah. This is taking a turn. He might have been on mushrooms or something, and then ran downstairs to the front desk where you know RAs work there, completely naked, laid face down on the tile, and just started slapping his ass until they called the cops and he got kicked out of the dorm. I the think day. he might have been high on something else. I mean, it was probably like mushrooms. I think. Uh, uh, and he was kind of nuts anyway. Okay. So mm-hmm. all right, he's smoking sherm, maybe straight up angel dust. I donh. don't know what happened with the. What's his, yeah, was his name Bucky? Uh, no, it's Adam. Okay. That's actually a super frustrating story, not knowing what happened to the Pringles can. <laughs> I, yeah, I kind of wish I would have known. That's the big question. <laughs> they popped the top and it just like jumped out. At I was going to say, yeah, like, did you get the like snake spring can <laughs> you know, Pringles thing? Like that's uh, uh, pneumatic Pringles cans that just spray out whatever's in them. God. That's a way worse situation. Yeah. What does he pop? Yeah. Uh, it was a really big turd. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I guess, I guess I should read this last one. Bring it, yeah, it's from Sav in Manchester. I thought I would share a recent traumatic experience I had over the weekend. My fiance was away, and I decided to order pizza. When the delivery guy got to the door, he very politely asked if he could use my bathroom. Mm. I wouldn't usually say yes, but he put me on the spot, so I panicked and said yes. Uh, I showed him where the toilet was, closed my living room and bedroom door, and waited for him to finish. I never actually heard him use the toilet, just lots of toilet paper rolling around and flushing. Uh, I was very nervous at this point. When he finished, and he said, I owe you one, and left. I went into my bathroom, and to my horror, I discovered a small pebble of shit on the floor. Uh. I immediately bleached the bathroom floor and cleaned the toilet. Then I threw the food away called the food place and put in a complaint with his manager and got my money back. I think he shit <laughs> himself before he got to my flat. Uh, That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Trying to take something positive away from the experience so I uh, so I didn't just feel like a complete idiot for letting him in. It could have been much worse, and it was a pretty big learning experience. Needless to say, I will never do that again. Really? I mean, you did the guy a solid. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he said he, so. That guy did him a solid, too. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, uh, as a delivery driver, like yeah. I, I've heard stories of like my dad was a mailman for like 10 years. Yeah. And sometimes you got to pee Poop in, in a your, mailbox. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, sometimes you got to pee in your Comp Terra's casino lunchbox it's, in the back of your mail truck. OK. Yeah. All right. Sometimes well, it, it sounds like there are some emergency situations where he's in a residential that, area maybe, and he doesn't want to inconvenience yeah, anyone and sure. use their toilet. Okay. OK. So he's got his, his well, Terra's so casino most, lunchbox. Most people aren't home during the day. Yeah. I was going to say a mailbox is not necessarily of the appropriate angle to. No, you just got to you just got to back up to it. <laughs> have a lot <laughs> of really. force angle like a scorched earth thing. Yeah. <sighs> If that guy shit himself prior to getting to the house, though, yeah. like you delivered the pizza, you go to a public restroom, mm. like at a gas station or something yeah. like that. Uh, yeah, I don't think that I would ask to yeah. use a customer. Especially if you're not going to be discreet about it. Right. Well, he probably Man. intended to be discreet about it and, just, and then messed up. Was, was missed, not, a, missed a spot. Was not thorough. Yeah. <sighs> That's a tough one. I sympathize. I don't know that I would bleach the floor in that situation. Mm. Like that's the part where I'm like, I get, I get the idea that you want to like, you know, burn out whatever oh, sure. happened there. Well, but yeah. at the same time, like, mm. Mm. I had to change hotel rooms in Dallas once because a guy that looked like Ben Franklin came in and used uh, me and my roommate's toilet uh, and flooded it, and mm. uh, had like poop water on the floor. So the hotel, the hotel made us change. Why did you let Ben Franklin in your hotel? Room? I was asking my friend Charlie about this not not too long ago because he seemed to remember more about it than me, uh-huh. and he said that some guy that looked like Ben Franklin just knocked on our door. And he's like, "Hey, I really need to use the bathroom." And we're like, "All right, we're like 18." Comes in, poops, floods it, and we had to move. Wow. I don't know. At a hotel, he didn't have his... Uh, are you, I, I are don't, you sure that your friend Charlie didn't do this and then blame yeah. it on Ben Franklin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Charlie would have done that. I have flooded Charlie's toilet before, but uh, I've never known Charlie to flood a toilet. Good to know. 